Um, good morning and welcome to another cool Chigutu morning. Um, in that last video, we hinted that we we're going to make charcoal this week, um, and we, that's our plan. Um, saw me carrying in all the all the things to get ready. Um, I've probably alluded to it a few times during the course. We've actually chucked it into that tire bed. Remember, I picked up the biochar. Um, we, we used it again in the compost. Um, I'll link those episodes. And then right at the end, that last time lapse in last week's video is us sitting around making another batch. Um, so this week I'm going to show you how we do it. The um, process of making charcoal is just burning any organic matter with the lack of air or lack of oxygen um, in a process called pyrolysis. If I remember that correctly, I'll chuck it in. Traditionally, the process of making charcoal has been very ineffective. Um, it involves a lot of smoke. You make a big pit, put your wood in, and once it starts going, you cover it with soil, and then that smothers it, and then it smolders away, and that's and you release a lot of smoke, and that's where the pollutants are, and all the all the bad stuff goes into the air. Um, so the process we use, I've forgotten the name, I'm going to chuck it in there at the bottom. Basically a process of burning the smoke. Yeah, let's get into it. Uh, a reference to self-sufficient me. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> okay, so it's basically the contraption that I made. Um, very simply, a can. You could use a big drum, I still want to do it with a big drum. Then you put some holes in the bottom, and some holes in the top, and pile it with wood, and then start your fire at the top. And basically the theory is that as it, it starts to burn down, it starts to suck air from the bottom. And then that's where the fire at, and then that releases the smoke. And that's when we put this on top. Once the fire gets going and the smoke starts generating, we put this on top, and that funnels it all in here. And then these vents, let in more oxygen, which catches a light, and then you'll see that there's a flame coming here. So we're burning the smoke off. There is a ratio of how many holes there should be to how many there holes should be into the top. Um, from what I read and saw, it's about four to one. So for every hole that you put here, you need four holes at the top, basically. So if you get that wrong, the fire goes out. And I think I've, I've, I'm not 100% correct here. I haven't encountered too many problems. So yeah, that's as simple as that. Um, then what else I do is, um, okay, the join is over there. But as soon as you put a bigger chimney on, you get a jet effect. Um, that drawing of air happens a lot quicker and it, by adding this chimney to it, it makes it a lot more efficient um, and it speeds the process up a little bit. Let's start putting this together. So that's traditional charcoal making, you generate a lot of smoke. So the idea here is that we burn the smoke. So match, smoke, there we go. Smoke gone. I didn't know that, smoke was flammable and we were wasting it all that time. It's pretty cool. Bread that I made yesterday. Yay! So exciting. Papa, can I bite it yet? Yeah. Hello! French toast! French toast!
finished the burning process and once mm -hmm. it starts smoking then we put water but what is this called mm -hmm. uh -uh. Charcoal. charcoal yes charcoal. Charcoal. charcoal and how do we know it's really good charcoal it's when yeah. it breaks very easily yeah. like that okay yeah. now one of the benef what are the benefits of charcoal remember what we yeah. said there's lots mm -hmm. There's okay. lots of little holes and things in here yeah. and th this has got a negative okay. charge. What that means it's is charged. when it's in the ground, it pulls water and nutrients towards it. So okay. when you put it in the ground and the rain falls, yeah. as the rain picks up nutrients and starts going past, this charcoal pulls the water towards it yeah. and it picks up nutrients and it holds on to it. So it holds on to the air, holds on to the water, holds on to the nutrients. And so it's a really good place for the, for the plants. Okay, so the, the charcoal is a really good place for a plant Look. to get nutrients. But on top of that, what else lives here? Bugs. Bugs, microbes. Mic all those really good hojos and small insects and things that we want in our garden. Hey, this is a really good home for them. So this is the perfect place for a plant to come and get nutrients because the, the, bike, the microbes help the plant. There's minerals, there's water, yeah. and all that stuff. So all we do yeah. is once we've cooked it, is crush it up really, and then you need to activate it. What we mean by that is you, you put the hojos inside here. So we've got some worm juice, and the worm juice will show you how that works in the next video when we, when we talk about the worm farm. Um, but then that's one way we can put the, the charcoal straight into here. Straight into here. Just put a little bit. We're not gonna put all of it now. And then we activate it and all those microbes that you find inside the worm juice and the water and everything, yeah. they pull into here. Then you can use this straight into the garden. And, but you want to put it under a little bit of soil. That's one way to do it. How we like to do it is put it into the compost like we did the last time. Hey, It's part of that final mix of into the compost. Um, which which and then we put it into the garden via through the compost okay fantastic so once it's activated what we call it biochar bio is biological which means you know biology biological that's animals and things there eh? so once we put life into here then we call it animal charcoal or biochar because now it's alive there's all sorts of hojos and things and living in here. Once we've put it into the worm juice or into the compost. Biochar. Biochar. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. Yes. Please, please subscribe and like to the video if you like it. And they don't. And they say goodbye. Mm -hmm.